yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. And, partner, I would guess that in his headset, he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage. Allen will look to throw for it on fourth. Out to the left, he's got his tight end, Knox. But he will be stopped behind the line as he will not come close to the marker. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. Prescott looks to throw on first. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. On second and ten, Prescott. And he's going to go down. He sank back at the 24. Vaughn Miller, he was the one getting in there, able to wreak his usual havoc. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now as a quarterback third and long, you really... And this ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. A 24-yard touchdown. And the Cowboys will add to their first quarter lead here in this Super Bowl. Boy, that route is really tough to cover because if they're running it correctly, you think it's really going to be a slam. Yeah, well, we talk all the time about how it's tough to execute offensively, but you're saying, don't forget, it's tough to cover for the defense, too. Yeah, the number one thing that you're taught is to not get caught inside or get beat inside. So you guard that a little bit more. So that gives you a little bit more space to operate outside if you start your move initially inside if you're a receiver. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And the lead now stands at 13. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. McKenzie now from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Buffalo set to get the football back here. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and ten. <laughs> to throw, it's Allen. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. So the completion gets him just a yard, and that's going to bring up second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs. and they Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Lewis. And the Cowboys are going to take possession of the football. And not the first quarter that he was hoping for. Now two interceptions thrown. Well, the good ones, they find a way to compartmentalize, right? Put these behind them, have that short memory, but understand why they threw the two interceptions. They go on and usually play a pretty decent game. Other quarterbacks, they have a hard time getting past it and often put the ball up for grabs the rest of the ball game. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Well, he's been the guy already over 100 yards here in the first half. Could have had a lot more if he would have been able to haul that one in. Yeah, in fact, our statistician Marvin was already handing me a piece of paper with that yardage totaled on it. He thought that catch was going to happen just as you and I did as well. On third down, it's Prescott. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. I thought that was a completed pass until he came in and forced the ball from his hands. Not only did he make a nice play, he brings up fourth down.
Prescott on fourth down. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. Mike McCarthy took the gamble, didn't pay off. And the Bills are going to get the football back. Well, the D brought the house, they called the blitz, and they get to the quarterback, overwhelming the O-line. And I would love to know, and we'll find out later on, was that called before the play, or did they audible into it? Because defenses change plays as well as offenses. Sometimes they get the set they want, they go right to the blitz. And in this case, they nailed it. Got right to the quarterback, no chance on that fourth down. And that is intercepted, or was it? Wait, they'll say no. No interception. He did not keep the feet in bounds, apparently. So that's just going to be an incompletion. Well, you know me. Whether you need it or not, I'm going to give a little unsolicited advice. Just throw it downfield out of the pocket only if you're absolutely sure. Otherwise, use your running ability and try and get those yards a safer way. And he finds his man. That's Sweeney. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That's So they take a decent shot, CD, and the flag comes out for pass interference. Yeah, a little DPI, as they like to call it in the business, right? And the farther you get downfield, the more frenetic things get, and the more calm and control you have to remain as a defender. That was a little bit of a slip. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. They bring the safety on the blitz, and he busts through to drop it for an eight-yard loss. Well, that's a big defensive stop there, and it takes away a lot of the momentum from the offense coming off that big completion to prior snap. Give big credit to the defense for bouncing back. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Allen under pressure again, and down he goes again. Neville Gallimore powering his way in and burying him. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Man, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game, I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if this guy... Under pressure, and he'll go down. They'll sack him on what ought to be the final play of this first quarter. Neville Gallimore drops him again for the second straight play, and it brings up fourth down. One quarter done, three more to play here in Super Bowl 57. Plenty of scoring here already. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Gonna go on fourth down. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Anthony Barr. He had his eyes on the end zone. He got close. At least he set the offense up nicely, but he's probably mad he didn't take that one to pay dirt. I agree with you, and you know he's going to get teased because he didn't get it all the way into the end zone. But if they don't score now, if they don't get a touchdown, he won't just get teased. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Dak Prescott, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys continue to look good here in the first half of this Super Bowl. Well, the big play prior to this one got him down there, and they're able to stick it in on the very next snap. And I think those last two plays... That's what you're talking about, balance, right? Big pass play, puts him in position, turn right around and hand it off, and you've got a running play that finishes it off in the end zone. Super Bowls in the 90s, and they're together again. The Cowboys and Bills are underway. From the 10. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. Go, 
From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And that's not the start that he was looking for as he's going to be met and dropped behind the line. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Now Prescott. Oh, and that'll be incomplete. Well, it took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. Throwing. Prescott. Got an open man. It's Michael Gallup. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. They'll get 11, but still a little short. Fourth down. Still leaves him with fourth and short. Any chance you go for it? It's definitely in the back of my mind. In fact, I've discussed it with my staff all week long, different situations that I may want to go for it. Where's the ball in the field? Do I have confidence in my trigger guy? What am I going to do? I'm also talking about my analytics department. What are the odds? If I don't get it, what's it going to do to me the rest of the game? Personally, I end up taking all that, putting it in my head, and making a decision. And you know me, I'm probably going to go for it. Wow, Trey, you want to make an opening drive statement. Yes, I do. Once I have the ball and I've got it on the move, I don't want to just give up that easily. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. To the air again, Prescott. Able to hit his target, Lamb. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 19. A good pick up there, 22. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. Jordan Phillips is the one on the stop. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Prescott. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. Play number nine now on this pretty long opening drive, but this is third down. Prescott to throw it. To the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions of what was once a nice drive. Stalled out here. I'm going to give credit to the secondary partner. Never gave up as they gave up a few yards, and they came through on that play to deny that pass and force the fourth down. Prescott. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. Mike McCarthy took the gamble, didn't pay off. And this defense holds firm here on the opening drive of the night. Well, they miss an opportunity to put some points on the board on the opening drive. They pass on the field goal, what'd you think? I'm looking at it from a positive standpoint for them. First drive of the game. They set the tone, right? They, they go downfield. They let them know how aggressive they're going to be all game long, even though they don't get it. Because it's the first drive of the game, you're not that worried about it. Hey, we got plenty of other opportunities as this game moves on. 
And a nice gain there as he'll be taken down just shy of the 20. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Throwing on first down is Allen, escaping the pressure right. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. Gardner, there's a downside to everything, and the danger of man coverage is if you're locking down your target, you often turn your back to the quarterback, and you don't see him. Sometimes you open up a big lane for him to hit you for big yardage, and that was an astute play by him to scramble out, see that lane, and burn them for a first down. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. That's multiple times now. He's tagged him with a big gain with his legs. Really showing off some nice awareness and the ability to correctly realize when he's got a chance to tuck it and go himself. Allen now on first down. Flushed out right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. The tank, Demarcus Lawrence with a sack. And this is a quarterback who's already had success on the ground in this first half, but this time they're able to hem him in. And it's always different when you rush a mobile quarterback as opposed to a guy you know will be right back in the pocket. In this case, you got to make sure the inside pressure and the outside pressure match, and maybe even a second wave to make sure if he squirts free, you've got someone to tackle him. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 31-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Well, he's already shown on this opening drive that he will run the football. We know that about him, Charles. So maybe when he gets outside the pocket, the defense a little wary about the run, and he's able to convert the pass. And that wariness will often cause you to be a step or two slow. And sometimes you get so focused on, will he or won't he run the football? You forget that their receivers in. thrown across his body and it's intercepted. Picked up by Malik Hooker. And the Cowboys will have the football as this is taken up past the 30. He violated a big time no no in throwing that pick. Rolling right, throwing across his body. And you know that your dad taught you that in the backyard when you were a tyke. Yep. Don't do it. The problem, every now and then you get away with it. This time, not the case. Prescott's throw pulled in by Lamb. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. Here's Prescott. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Well, that's absolutely going to fire this defense up. They made it their mission to deny that completion, and they came through with a nice hit and knocked it incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. <laughs> to throw is Prescott. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. I think that's how this defense is going to need to play these tight ends. Again, get right up on them and stay physical. Paid off on that play, helping force that incompletion. 
They'll throw again. Prescott. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. They bring a man off the corner that time, and he gets home for a loss of six. Well, their first sack of the game, and it doesn't come from a usual suspect, not somebody up front, but Charles, a defensive back getting in there. And I can tell you from experience, he's beyond excited to make that play because you're exactly right. Is it normal to call his number to run at the quarterback like that? Usually you're defending the pass, but he takes full advantage and dumps him to the turf. On fourth, they do snap it to Prescott. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. A surprising move to go for it, predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off, and that will force a turnover on downs. And, partner, I'm not really sure what in the world they were thinking on fourth and long there at this stage in the game, but you think social media may be firing up a little bit right now? Oh, the coach is trending right now. All right, there's no <laughs> doubt about it. People wonder what that decision was. But it takes me back to a number of years ago. A very successful coach in the league had told himself before a playoff game he was going to be aggressive. No matter what, he's going to be aggressive. And it ran his team into some real problems early, and they got upset in that playoff game. Let's see if this team can recover. Well, that's aggressive in capital letters with glitter. Seven underscore. I mean, that's that's the definition of aggressive. Yeah, you can almost hear the cheerleaders doing the be aggressive chant behind him, <laughs> and he listened to it. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Anthony Brown. Well, it doesn't take a whole lot of investigation to figure out why they're still sitting at zero on the scoreboard because their quarterback's got to wake up and start reading defense a heck of a lot better after throwing a second interception. So they got him coming up from his linebacker spot. And sometimes the position designation really doesn't matter. If you creep up to the line of scrimmage, you just have to look for the football. Make sure it moves before you do. Here's Prescott. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And brought down, but not before they're able to get it up to the 25. We are back and ready to go for the second quarter of the Super Bowl. Brandon God and Charles Davis, as always, thrilled to be with you. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Prescott off play action. A 50-50 ball here, and it's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. Partner, I think this one won't arrive very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. So good field position for the Bills as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Fighting his safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. That turned into a very well orchestrated play right there. Going to work his way out of the backfield to the right. And after he looked it in, he found plenty of space to roam and picked up big yardage. Here's Allen on first and 10. 
And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Micah Parsons showing off that elite athleticism as he gets the sack. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Another try after the first down sack. Allen, man open here is Crowder. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. 36 yards on the play. The timing was absolutely true as he caught it working across the field. Plenty of space for him to roam. But notice how he keeps his head on a swivel, looking for defenders who may crop up out of nowhere. That turned into a big play. A chance for the first score of this Super Bowl. Here's first and goal. Allen going to try and keep it. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. Kept it in his hands and tried to push it across the goal line himself, but the defensive front wouldn't allow him to do so. Bringing up second down and a bit farther. On second and goal. Allen. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Micah Parsons. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. How about that, partner? His second sack of the game, and that puts him in some pretty good company. 17 guys have had two sacks in the previous 52 Super Bowls, but only three have had the record number of three sacks in this game. And we've got the list here. He, and the pressure gets to him again. Micah Parsons, two plays in a row now that he has gotten in there for the sack, and it brings up fourth down. And that's his third sack, and that ties a Super Bowl record. Makes me think of my old college teammate, Reggie White. He had three with the Green Bay Packers in Super Bowl 31. Darnell Dockett of Arizona, Super Bowl 43. And Coney Ealy, three sacks for the Panthers against Denver in Super Bowl 50. All those sacks, they've only been an official record since Super Bowl 17. I know it's believed that L.C. Greenwood unofficially had four way back in Super Bowl 10. We're in the golden high tops as well. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt, and the Cowboys defense is going to get them the football back. And he'll have a tough time living that one down. It's one thing, Charles, to drop a pass. It's quite another to drop it on fourth down. And so many teams work on that in terms of locking in on those key downs. You know, I've seen, I've, you know, you and I have both been to practices where we've seen, hey, third down situation, big third down alert, lock in here, fourth down play, make sure you focus just a little bit extra. It didn't pay off in that situation. A fight for it, and this is caught. It's caught indeed. It's a gain of 34. Not really any offense for them to speak of here in this first half. Maybe that's what they needed, that big play. Yeah, and it seems that maybe everything changes right there. They've been a little slow out of the gate. We've seen that, but that one big play, that could spark a big burst right here. First down throw for Prescott. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. So rare to see any quarterback toss back-to-back -back interceptions in the NFL, regardless of status or experience. Whether it's him personally or just the offensive game plan, I think this defense is reading something out there, and they're holding the upper hand. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 16. Throwing to start the drive. Allen. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down, but give him credit. Stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. Well done. 
Throwing again on second down. Allen, he's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Allen to Diggs there for a Buffalo first. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Allen off the play fake. On the move to his left. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Dorrance Armstrong just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Allen. And a high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. I think you can easily follow the thinking there. The pressure on the last play, and that got to him. So they decided, let's get him out of there, bootleg him out to the right. Unable to complete the pass downfield, but the thought process, spot on. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. I know he was trying to get the completion downfield, but the way this game has gone, with a few of the runs he's made along the way, he should have kept the ball and taken it with his feet downfield. That's the big play that shreds the defense. Instead, he thought to himself, I'm a quarterback. I've got to throw it. He bailed out the defense with that incompletion. Fourth down conversion plays, you usually think one, two, three yards, maybe ten. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. A reminder, as we did all through the regular season, we'll check in with Jonathan Coachman at halftime. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half of play. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. And again, it's Allen. And Allen going to be intercepted for the third time. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to take over once again at their own 25-yard line. If you're a lover of offense, this has not been the half for you thus far. Luckily for me, though, I'm sitting next to a lover of defense. And we have had plenty of that, including that interception. Yeah, and I mean, that still makes it a great game, doesn't it? Everybody talks about if the ball's not in the end zone and points going up on the board, it's not as much fun. I love these deep. And Prescott, his third interception. Picked off by Jordan Poyer. And the Bills are going to take possession of the football. Well, their defense got them the football with an interception. They trot out there, Charles, in the very first play. They give the football right back. <laughs> Brandon, I almost expect you coming like an auctioneer. We've got two, we got two. Do I hear three? Remember, it was two in a row. Would we hit three in a row? Because these offenses, they've got to be a little bit more. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Josh Allen, a 10-yard touchdown run. And the Bills post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Well, the defensive coverage was good, so good, he just decided to make a play of his own, and it worked out. Yeah, you often wonder if they think to themselves, was the coverage too good to allow him to run the football? I think you'd rather take your chances with him doing exactly that, and he beat him on that play all the way to the end zone. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. To the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. This one fielded at the five. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. 
And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Tredavious White with a pick. And the Bills are going to take possession of the football. Well, C.D., you know, when you mentioned earlier about spreading the ball around in this game, I don't think you mentioned the guys in the other uniform. I mean, four interceptions here in the first half, and several different guys have picked them off. Yeah, instead of analyzing what's going wrong with him, throwing the football, why don't we look at the defense? And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Demarcus Lawrence, his second sack of the night. I'm starting to wonder if this offensive line just simply doesn't like him. I mean, they've given up six sacks in this game. He's had nowhere to go, nowhere to run, and obviously nowhere to hide. And all those sacks in the first half, this is just complete domination. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Micah Parsons make that now four sacks for him in tonight's ball game. So when you have good field position to start a drive and you give up back-to-back -back sacks, that can be demoralizing for a team. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. Back to throw, Allen. Looking left side and it's complete. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Naeem Hines as the first half is winding down. And the Bills continue to look good here in the first half of this Super Bowl. And that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two-score cushion heading towards halftime. Now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way you approach the second half as well. How you want to do things on offense, and your defense feels much better too, having that lead. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. And the Cowboys going to go on offense one final time in this first half. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it. And we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. They'll keep it on the ground again here. Room here to run. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. So we've come upon halftime in the big one, the Super Bowl, as we send you on out to our students. So the halftime show of the Super Bowl abbreviated, ready to go for the second half. These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30-minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. From his end zone, Isaiah McKenzie. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Out come the Bills now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And I would imagine this is where you have to take stock of the situation, CD, and say, gosh, we're halfway to the Lombardi Trophy. Let's not slow down now. And I like the way you went there. Let's not slow down now because the first half certainly went their way. And I would expect them to continue with that. Allen hit. He lost the football. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And this is going to be brought back for a fumble return touchdown by the Cowboys. But that's got to be so disappointing for a defense. You, know, you force the fumble, think you got a chance at a turnover, and instead, not only do you give up the football, you also give up a touchdown as well. Yeah, you just think to yourself, you've done all the hard work, right? You forced the fumble, but when they didn't come up with it, I think they relaxed a little bit or maybe lost their focus as well and end up turning out to be a touchdown against them. McKenzie now from his end zone. 
And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And let's just say they're going to be looking to start over on this drive. A few moments ago, they were in the exact situation, but their first play led to a fumble that was returned for six. Yeah, you definitely have to have a short memory to play in the NFL. you got to remember what you did wrong so you don't repeat it, but you can't dwell on it because then you will repeat it, and that's what you don't want to do. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. Hold on a second. Was that the fullback? That was the fullback. Who says it? The slot receivers. But only guys can catch the football and get big yardage after the catch. Really nice job there. Showing good hands and an ability to get upfield. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Martin, I think he's got to be careful as he continues to try to extend plays because he's already been intercepted in this game. And the coverage, they continue to challenge all of his receivers downfield. To throw once more on second and 10. Allen. Oh, now he's stripped. He lost the football. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And this is going to be brought back for a fumble return touchdown by the Cowboys. And what we just saw, very, very rare. We only had five of those in the first 50 Super Bowls. The biggest stage, the biggest game, and we just saw it happen again. Extraordinary. The defense has been good, and they were good again there. So not only the cough up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. McKenzie now from his end zone. And nowhere to go. He only makes it to the five. Well, not exactly a banner return, so he doesn't give his offense a whole lot of room to work with. They've got to go a long way now to try and score some points. I do know this from experience. There will be a few comments muttered his way by the offense as they head out on the field. Now Allen. There's Stephon Diggs for the catch on the slant. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. And they were backed up to start the drive, but not anymore. Now, that's the play call that the offensive coordinator had in his head. You saw the end result. He wanted to go ahead and push the ball downfield, and that's what they did. And they wound up with good yardage there to get things rolling. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. Well, it's almost football 101 that you preach to your safeties. Don't let anyone get behind you. You're the last line of defense. But he didn't let the play come to him. He went to the play. How about that read and recognition and finishing off that one behind the line of scrimmage? And his throw is incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing now is Allen. And Cook has it, left side. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Hallett. And this is going to fall to the ground incomplete. That very nearly their fourth pick of the game. Instead, second down. Now here's a classic second guess. I thought he had a better chance of a positive play if he just ran it himself. The coverage downfield was really good. That one falls incomplete. 
After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off by Anthony Brown. And he's got room. And the Cowboys are going to take possession of the football. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real... And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott taking it in from two yards out. And the Cowboys have scored again in this third quarter, this time to move out in front. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And the lead is now 21-14. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. McKenzie now from his end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. the Bills. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays. Oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do, you got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end. Take some easier completions. Yeah, interception last drive. There he hits the reliable target. From the 25 on second down, Allen. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they've brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. Throwing is Allen on third. On the catch, it's Crowder. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he was able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. It was Anthony Barr that time who got in there and made the play. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know the converse is, though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Knox. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 45-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards.
So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Here's Allen to throw it, eluding the pressure right. Oh, Allen cannot get away, and down he goes. Demarcus Lawrence in there to get him yet again. That is his third sack tonight. They can't figure him out. They'll come up after the sack on a second and 12. Allen going to throw. And now here is another interception. The big fella, 20. And the Cowboys are going to take possession of the football. I think you and I were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw his second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times? It's beyond stunning to me because we're used to that with maybe a quarterback with less experience or less talent. But a quarterback of his caliber? I can't believe what we've just seen. Absolutely. If you would have told me this coming into the ball game, I would have said never, not in a million years. But here we go. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. They'll try to run it in with Elliott. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. And if they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. Prescott on third and goal. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Teron Johnson able to pick it. And the Bills are going to take over at their own 41. So a big chance goes by the wayside there. A tough break on third and goal. Yeah, as a general rule, you know you're usually not going to win games with field goals. But in this case, they had three points in their pocket. I get what he was trying to do, but that's a big swing of momentum right there. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. So after the INT, it's Allen. They'll start in excellent field position. Follow and my goodness, another interception. And the Cowboys will take over possession here up at the 44. Boy, what a turnaround. They exited the lockers with a nice lead, and now all of this, what's happened? So when you start to write your novel, you'll start out with, it was a tale of two halves, won't you? Well, hey, but I'm a bad writer. <laughs> I don't know exactly what happened, because sometimes teams can go in with a lead and get too comfortable, too relaxed, and a couple of things go wrong, and it's hard to get back that good feeling. And now here is another interception. Jair Elam makes a pick, and the Bills are going to take over here up near the 40. Well, we saw plenty of that during his much-heralded college career. He parlayed that into becoming a first-round selection, and now here he is making interceptions in the National Football League. And this is a guy that has all the physical tools, but the thing that sets him apart is what he's got between his ears, and that's the sixth sense for knowing where the football is going. Just an excellent play there to create the turnover. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you no matter what, you keep throwing the football with confidence. Well, we're not seeing a confident thrower right now. He's off balance, the passing game's off balance, and the defense is taking advantage. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. Just one more quarter remains in the season-long race for the Lombardi Trophy here at Super Bowl 57 from Glendale. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. On third and long, it's Allen. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. It's been a nice day for him as a passer and as a runner. One of the few mistakes he's made in this ball game. The wrong choice on that one. That one goes incomplete. Now Allen, gotta have this one. 
And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Anthony Barr. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. What a moment for him, a pick six in the Super Bowl. You think about some of the big pick sixes over the history of this huge game. I remember, because I was watching with a lot of Colts fans, Tracy Porter picking Peyton Manning to get the Saints' first title. Yeah, that would pretty much seal the deal for New Orleans as well. But I got to go back a ways because, you know, unfortunately, I'm considerably older. Herb Adderley, the Green Bay Packers, got it all started. The first pick six, Super Bowl II against the Oakland Raiders, and some of the better ones. In trouble, and the ball's out. It's in the end zone loose. And this is going to be brought back for a fumble return touchdown by the Cowboys. So they get the one score, kick off, get a fumble, take it right back to the house. <laughs> Two quick touchdowns within a matter of about 10 seconds on the game clock. It's like a big one-two punch that may lead to a knockout.